सो वी आर इन द सेशन नाइन ऑफ योर टॉपिक कॉल्ड योर टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी विल कॉल इट एज कॉन्सेप्ट अलॉन्ग विथ कॉन्सेप्ट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व दिस विल बी योर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन कैलकुलेट लोन अमोटाइजेशन शेड्यूल हाउ डू यू गेट योर प्रिंसिपल कॉलम योर कॉलम नंबर थ्री माइनस फोर Hello everyone. This is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session nine of your topic called your time value of money. Under time value of money, in the previous session we worked out your loan amortization. So hope you understood what is loan amortization. Now today I'll not go with the basic directly. I'll go for the problem so that you know the concept as well as you know the procedure. The first part we will call it as concept along with concept problems on loan amortization. Or else problems on amortization. This will be your problem. From the following information, calculate loan amortization schedule. So we can call it as schedule, or else we can call it as table. Now, the first one we call it as loan amount. Now, what is your loan amount? Twenty thousand. Rate of interest five percent. Repayment schedule six equal installment, and the last one annuity. Right. As per this, we are supposed to calculate your installment. How to find out? Like your installment is nothing but your first one loan amount, loan amount divided by your annuity rate, annuity rate. So, what is your loan amount? As per this, your loan amount is twenty thousand divided by your annuity is five point zero seven six one. So, what is your answer? As per this, your installment amount is so with the calculator. If you calculate twenty thousand divided by five point zero seven six one. So it will be thirty nine thousand three thousand nine forty. How much you will get? Three thousand nine forty is your every year installment. This includes your principal as well as interest. What is the installment? The installment comes around three thousand nine hundred and forty. Now I'll go back to your table. So this will be table. In the previous table, we only filled everything in this. It is already filled. Just we'll go with the answer. Before that, before that, remember. So in this, what we will do? Your installment, interest, principal, as well as balance. Now, how do we calculate your interest? As per this problem, the rate of interest is five percent. Now, your column number two multiplied with five percent. There is the first one. And second principal column. How do you get your principal column? Your column number three minus four. Column number three minus four is your principal. How do you get your balance column? Your balance column, column number two, and minus your principal. So this will be your balance. Now we got all the informations. Year one, year two, year three, four, five. Total we are supposed to do for six years. Now I'll go for the answer directly. Year one, two, three, four, five, six. So total we have year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six. Now what is the beginning of the year? Beginning is twenty thousand. Now the beginning amount is twenty thousand. What is the installment? We already calculated. It is around three thousand nine forty. Your answer is three thousand nine hundred and 
40. Similarly, for every year, 3940, 3940, 3940, 3940, 3940. Every year the installment amount will not change. The same amount will copy for the all six years. Now, we'll go one by one. So first what we'll do, we will calculate interest. What is the interest part? It is 5%. Your column number two multiplied with interest. Now, year one, 20,000 multiplied with 5%. How much you will get? you will get 1000 as interest. This is for first year. 20,000 into 5%, 1000. This is how much? 1000. Now, so what is this? 3 minus 4. This is 3 and this one is 4. This minus this, you will get 2940. Now, what is your last column as well as balance column? We'll calculate this. So balance column 2 minus 5, where is 2? This one. Where is 5? This one. 20,000 minus 2,940. You got 17,060. So this is done. First year we completed. I'll go for second year. So the same amount will copy 17,060. 17,060. If you are not watched the, uh, the previous video, like we are in almost session 9. So if you want the detailed calculation, please go back to your session 8. In that I have showed you with all the colors where we have taken, how do we calculate it, everything I'll show you in detail. Please go back to your session 8, watch that amortization, hardly it is 25 minutes class. So if you watch in that you will find out how to do all this schedule. Now 17,060 we got, we are supposed to calculate 5%. Your second year 17,060 multiplied with 5%. 1760 multiplied with 5%, 853, 853 is your answer, you got 853, now minus how much you will get, 3940 minus 853, your answer is 3087. you got answer of 3087. Similarly, what is the final answer? 3087 minus your 17,060. 13,973. 13,973. Your second year, we completed. Same thing, copy paste. 13,973. Similarly, I'll go for the next year. So how do we calculate this? 13,973, 13,973 multiplied with 5%. Multiplied with 5%, 699, 699. 699 is your answer. I'll take this, 699 will minus this. So 3940 minus 699. So 3241. 3241 minus from the first, second column minus 13973. So I'm following this. 2 multiplied with 5%, 3 minus 4 and 2 minus 5. Whatever numbers I have mentioned, these are the your column numbers. 10,732, 10,732. Now, again, I'll come back to your second column. What is your second column? 10,732. 10,732 is your second column. Now, 
calculate 5% fourth one 10,732 multiplied with 5% multiplied with 5% 537 537 so we'll go with 537 500 and I'll remove this so it will be 537 so I got 537 so this column how to calculate 3940 minus 537 this will be 3403 3403 now so your final answer is this minus this 10,732 I got 7,329 7,329 so I'll got up to your year 4 we'll go for 5th year as well as 6th year copy paste 7,329 so what will be the interest part your year 5 7,329 multiplied with 5%. Multiplied with 5%, 366. 366 is your answer. I'll write down here 366. This minus this. 3,940. It will be 3,574. 3,000. 574 so how much it is this has to be deducted from the first 7329 it is 3755 3755 same thing copy paste for the last year 3755 up to this any doubt the same procedure what we did in the previous session same thing we are doing but the previous problem was for five years and this we are doing for six years now we'll go for the last one 3940 your sixth year 3940 multiplied with five percent how much you will get 3940 multiplied with five percent 197 197 so this will be how much 197 what is the balance now 3940 minus 197 you get 3743 3743 now what is the last column I'll show you the last column this minus this 3755 what is your answer 12 rupee so your answer is 12 as i told you at the end it should come zero but you will not get zero why because every problem we have not taken complete decimals so we have taken only first two numbers like if it is 853.3333 we have taken only 853 only we rounded off so every place if you round it up 1 rupee 50 pesos or 40 pesos and all all put together it will come 12 rupees whatever difference you will get no issue you can write 12 rupees rs if you don't want to write here 12 you have to write zero in the last column then you can go for this 12 rupee you can add here you can make it 3755 now so that you can match with this Leo, yes so this is all about your today's session i'll go back to your problem so that you can take screenshot so this is your problem problem number 12 the solution for your problem number 12 so this is all about your today's session hope you understood what is loan amortization in the today's session we have completed your amortization topic. We'll do one more problem on amortization. If your annuity rate is not given, how to calculate? Those things will work out in the coming session. So till then, bye.